and welcome to my next tutorial. Today, we're going to be making one of these. Pretty cool, right? I know, very popular stuff. My students have been asking for this for a while. So, let's get started. I'm going to search for Spider-Man. Spider-Man. And the very important part of this is going to be the word outline. Because if you just do a search for Spider-Man, guess what's going to show up? Spider-Man. What we want is an outline. It's very important for our design process. I have all these Spider-Man. I'm going to click on images so I get just images that I want. Now, I want you to see this one right here. Let's see if we can get a close-up. If you have it open like this, it makes it a little bit harder to make your design. You want it to be completely closed like this one. Or the one I'm going to choose today. Actually, it's a very cute Spider-Man. It actually... I think, uh, where did I see it? I'm gonna type in baby Spider-Man because I think that's what, that's how I found it last time. Yeah, that's the one. Um, click on it once and there it is. I'm gonna right click, save image as, and of course I already did this before, so you're gonna see all these Spider-Man images. Um, save image as, okay, web B P or WebP. I hope that works. Let's see. It should be JPEG, but you know, let's see what happens. Um, Spider-Man. Very important that you remember what you call this, and this is going to be called Outline 2 because I already have an Outline 1. Let's hope that works. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Convert I.O. Now, in other videos, I've suggested other, uh, you know, conversion websites, and Feel free to use any of them at our school. It just happens that the other ones that I used before have been blocked. So this is the latest one that I can use. Now, let's say that this one is blocked. If you're doing this at school, then find another one. Just type in convert images. And I named Spider-Man Outline 2. There it is. I'm going to open it up and let's see if it works. All right, so far. We want this to go to SVG. It's under images. If you happen to scroll over these and you don't get SVG, well then, you want to go to images and then look for SVG and convert. Great thing about this is that it's free. It's online. You download it. Now on my computer it gives me the option and some computers, it just saves it automatically to the download files. I'm going to save mine to my Spider-Man files and I'm going to title the same exact thing. Only I'm going to put the word S or the letters SVG in capital so I can see it better when I look for my files. Okay, there it is. Now, here's the deal. At this point, you have some options. Let's say you just want this to be one color. Actually, no, even if it is one color, let's go ahead and do the other thing. We're gonna go to this thing called uh, Photo o -P -P -E -A. This is a free online photo editor. And I'm going to hit File. Oh, I think my whole thing is over a little bit. File and new project. I'm going to create the project. Notice I didn't select anything because it really doesn't matter for what we're doing. Uh, image, I'm going to import. Where do I go for import file? Open. Mode. Do you see it? Am I looking somewhere else? Select, edit, open. I want my Spider Man 2 open. Is that the one? Okay, we have our original image. Spider-Man 2 outline, now I turned it into a PSD. Not very important for what we're doing, but here's what I wanna do. There are two tools that we wanna use here. One is called, um, what does it call it? I, I call it the W tool. It's a wand. It helps you select things. So I'm gonna click the W, or you can just click here, and I'm gonna select that. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's little, dashed lines all around everything. I'm going to go up here to select inverse. Now just the Spider-Man is selected versus the outside that I had selected before. Now that the inverse is selected or just the Spider-Man, I'm going to go to this tool. Actually, yeah, sorry, this tool, the brush tool. And I'm going to use the pencil. Okay, brush tool, pencil, shortcuts the B. Okay, if you click the letter B, it comes over here. And I want to change this from a size 15 to a size, yeah, maybe not that big. Let's, let's say 100. 
Okay, you can change it to whatever size you want. I'm just choosing 100 for right now. And I want it to be black, okay? Black. Now, let's say you couldn't find the image you wanted, but let's see, you, you would click there and it would turn into the black that you wanted. So, okay, we're, we're good. Now I'm gonna color everything except the eyes. And I'll explain later why. Actually, no, now would be a good time to explain it. See, I want the entire Spider-Man to be red, except the eyes. The web outline that you see all over his body, that's gonna be black, no matter what you do, because you already have a copy of the original. That's what you want. What we want is the red background. To get that, we need to get rid, well, we need to uh, make everything that's gonna be red to one color. Now, why don't I make it red? Because the next step may not work if it's not visible to the program. And black is gonna be the most visible thing that it is, so I'm gonna color everything black. Now, here's the reason I selected everything first. See how I can't color outside? Exactly what I want. It only colors where we selected. Well, you can try to do this by hand and just not worry about selecting it or you know, selecting and isolating the part that you want, I believe it makes it a lot harder. And I'm not here to work harder. I'm here to make this look cool. And that's my goal. Okay, this part right here is a little tricky. All right. Now, I, I did it. This is exactly what I want. So I'm gonna hit File, and I'm gonna export as. Now, someone might point out that SVG is already an option. SVG is what we want. Now, for some reason, every time I've used SVG here, it just doesn't import into Tinkercad. So I have to go to JPEG, fullest quality, and hit save. And it's going to ask me where I want to save it. Here, Spider-Man Outline 2, but this time, this is the black one. So black, hit save. Okay, now I'm going to go back to convert, convert more files choose files and of course i want the one that says black at the end right there open and i'm going to change this to an svg convert this is usually very fast so i don't expect to wait long download great same thing here but this time i want to type in svg so i can see it better when i'm looking for it later Great, saved. Now let's go to Tinkercad. Go to Designs, Create New Design, 3D Design. As you can see, I did one earlier. I'm gonna change this to Spider, Spider-Man. And let's leave it there. I'm gonna import up here, choose a file. And what do we want? We want the SVGs. We want the one with number two, did we create one for number two? Okay, there's the black one. Fine, let's start with the black one. And I'm gonna change this to 100, just because if, if I leave it the way it is, it creates this huge icon or image. Don't want that. All right, there's that one. And I'm gonna change that. Mm, yeah, let's change that to right now, four. Okay. And while we're at it, let's just change it to red. Red, cool, not bad, right? Okay, let's go back to import, choose a file, and to black SVG. There it is, open, open. Change this one again to 100, import. Now, because they're both 100, they're gonna be the exact same size, and they're gonna import in the same exact location, so you don't have to do much. Now, usually when it's imported, it's not the same color. It's gonna be like grayish, I believe. Oh no, it's pink this time interesting contrast all right i'm going to change this to black because it's going to look super cool right away and here we go i'm going to change that to five now for the most part you could actually print it like this and just leave the eyes blank i don't personally like that but let me remind you the webbing is five the red background is four and now for the eyes i'm going to change this to 64 and this one's gonna be three. And white, because it just looks cooler that way, right? So I'm gonna put this right there. I'm gonna just stretch it out so that it's covered. And at the same time, I gotta consider I don't want it to go past, you know, the outline we already established. 
Now, when I go in this direction, it might make it, you know, go past here. You gotta pay attention to that part too. All right, let's look around. Is it covered completely? Yes. And let's look over here. Now, the reason this is important is because the different heights will give this illusion of texture. If you made them all the same height, well, what you're gonna have is just an outline, a solid color outline. In fact, let me just show you right now. Uh, let me duplicate this. Okay, let's make them all five. Okay. Oh, wait, the red part, five. Now, the machine, if you're doing this in one color, the machine is just going to see one solid object and it'll look more like this when you print it. Why did I change everything? There you go. Red. And then let's just change that one. And this is what it will print barely visible maybe even there spider-man whereas this if you have the different layers even if you're doing one color you'll be able to see the distinction and if you feel like it you could even paint it now in my class you're going to have the option of doing multi you know multicolor prints now if you're here and you only have one color just go ahead and e export this and then you can print it and if you like the the video please subscribe because i'll be putting out more Thank you for liking it and goodbye. But for my students, go ahead and pay attention because I'm going to show you, let's get rid of this one, how to color it in our uh, Bamboo Studio printer. So I'm going to hit export as an STL. I'm going to save it. And of course, when I name this, it's going to be finished or the complete. That way you know what you're working with. Okay, I'm going to go to Bamboo Studio, which is right there. And here we go. I'm going to start a new project. And now, very important, when you're working with Bamboo Studio, in my classroom at least, you got to know which printer you're using. We have Bamboo printers, the X1 Carbons in the front of the class with a cool plate. If you're going to use the printers in the back, the P1Ps, they used a textured plate. The colors are very important. You want them to match what's already there. And of course, we need at least these colors here. And the yellow one doesn't matter because we're only using three colors for this particular one. So if we wanted to, it could be green. But now that we have them in order that we want, let's go ahead and import our Spider-Man that is finished right there. Open. Okay, can't really see it, right? Well, we're gonna use this paint uh, bucket to start coloring. Now, let's say you don't see the paint bucket. It's because you haven't selected the object. So select the object use the paint bucket. Now, the outline is already black. And the reason it's black is because it's the first color. So it, it defaults to the first color for everything. What I want is the red background. So here's what I'm going to do. Well, let's do the yeah red background. And I'm going to use this tool right here, height range. Do you remember how tall the red section was? Mm -hmm. Pop quiz, did you know it was going to be there? Four. It was four millimeters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click under here. This is the back. Click. And now it's four exactly. Right? Click the back. It's four exactly. Now the eyes are red. Pretty evil Spider-Man going on here. We don't want that. So let's use the paint bucket. The color white. And I'm going to click inside. Now... I'm not sure if you could see this, but if I happen to click here accidentally, it's going to change my print times because now it's going to add another layer or several layers when it's printing because it now needs to change colors every time it does this one or it prints in that area. At this point, we have a lot of red, a little bit of white, and the top is going to be all black. When it gets to the black layer, it never has to change colors again because that's all it's going to do. And for much of this, for the first three millimeters, it's going to be only red. That's great because it reduces the color change, which is going to increase or uh, decrease this, the amount of time it needs and increase the speed at which it will finish. So it'll finish faster. At this point, you want to slice it. And for me, I like to look at this part right here. Okay, it's using black, it's white, and red. If you see another color in here, then you probably made a mistake somewhere over here. 
Now, how many times is it going to change filament? Six times. That's not bad because it reduces the waste. And it's going to take less than one hour to print this. Excellent. Now, in my class, you would have to click this one, change it to export all sliced, click that, and then save it wherever you save your designs. So hope you like this. Um, please like and subscribe, share with your friends, tell your friends and family. And by the way, Spider-Man is not the only character you can design. I've seen people do, um, you know, other characters and even DC or um, cartoon characters or anything online. Just remember these things are copyrighted. So make sure you're not selling them because that would be illegal. All right. Have, have a good day. Thank you.